This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Nicole Griffin, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Metro Police are investigating the tragic shooting of a 16 year old girl killed Sunday morning after she was hit by a stray bullet. IMPD says the girl was inside a vehicle with her family when that stray bullet hit her. It happened just before 1 o'clock Sunday morning on East 38th Street near North Arlington Avenue. The girl was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and died from her injuries. As of Sunday night, her name has not been released. Police spent the entire morning in the area with streets blocked off as the investigation continues. We talked to the pastor of New Direction Church, which is located right down the street from the crime scene on East 38th Street. He doesn't know if he knows the victim or her family, but he has this message for the community. First and foremost, I would encourage people, if you know something, say something, because we all have to be considerate of this family, and we have to put ourselves in the shoes of her family, because if your loved one or your friend was taken away from you, you would want someone to come forward. So we always encourage people, if you have information, then go to the proper authorities and share with them what you know, and if perhaps you're a little bit afraid of that, then you can always reach out as well. Call the church. Kenneth Sullivan Jr. has been the pastor at New Direction Church for 14 years, and he says the community is connected and there is a lot of love and pride, so he hopes that someone does the right thing and comes forward. You can call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS with any information. The state health department will host a drive through COVID-19 testing clinics this week at five sites around the state. The clinics will run from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday and Tuesday in East Chicago and 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday in Lafayette, Newcastle, Plymouth and Seymour. The clinics are open to symptomatic health care workers, first responders and essential workers. Testing will also be available to symptomatic people who live with one of those workers, along with people who have COVID-19 symptoms and underlying medical concerns that put them at higher risk. We have the list of locations on the IndyChannel.com. Just click on this story on the home page. Kyle. Monday going to be a great day to take that work to the patio. A little cool to start, but that sunshine is going to warm us close to 60 degrees already as we get to the middle of the day. Afternoon highs in the middle 60s as we gradually increase the clouds, but I think most of the rain going to hold off until we get into the day on Tuesday. Not only will Tuesday be a little wet, it's also going to be very cool. Highs will only make it into the middle 50s. We're in the 50s with some showers again on Wednesday, briefly improving on Thursday before it turns a little wet and cooler again. Could have some frost again going into Saturday and Sunday morning, Nicole. Kyle, thank you. For more weather and stories that you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.